Hey guys, it's Sky 39 here, and welcome back. Got another episode of FTL Advanced Edition for you guys. So let's get started. So in the last episode, I failed to explain this game to you guys. Have I mentioned that the music in this game is awesome? Just, just thought I'd uh, put that out there again in case you missed it. All right, so. The uh, plot of this game is the Federation is falling apart and a rebel group is taking over and this rebel group wants anarchy, I guess. They don't really, they aren't really doing it for a good cause so much as they just want freedom and anarchy. We're just going to quickly bump that up quick, quickly. While we have the opportunity to do so. I should have checked if there was a store nearby. So basically we need to get to, uh, we have the secret to defeating the rebels, or to turning the tide and defeating the rebels, but we have to get to Federation Command to you know, give that information to them. Yeah, let's, uh, let's help them. This totally in no way could possibly be a trap in any way, shape, or form, could it? We're just being helpful. Um, let's do it. It's a good idea. Couldn't possibly be a trap. We actually, we had a good start. I mean, we have a crew of, what is it? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven crew members already. We could, we could have eight by the end of this sector. Oh. Oh, them pirates. Yeah, let's do that. Take out their shields, their weapons, and their oxygen. My favorite thing to take out, their oxygen. Now they will slowly die. Now, it's too bad that we don't have a boarding system, though. Actually, Boarding in, the, in a rock sector is probably a bad idea, because they're all good at combat. There we go. Well, rocks have uh, extra HP. That's their thing. That's their gimmick. Alright, let's go to the quest. And hope it's not a trap. Oh. Oh, they're, they're good guys. Oh, clone bay. What does a clone bay do? Automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty, taking advantage of micro-cloning. I enjoy this. Oh, hold on. Heals... Crew heals partially every jump. Jump heal is passive and requires no power. Oh, okay. Not entirely sure what that has to do with anything. Ooh, mind control. So many cool things. Crew is safe in clone storage even if system is off or broken. Hacking stun. All crew inside a room during a hacking pulse will be stunned for the duration. Um... Um... There's a lot of cool stuff here, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on it, though, because we don't have money. And most importantly, we don't really need it. Oh, crap, we're going to have to skip out on another store. I don't like skipping out on stores, because you never know if one of them has a crew teleporter. But we don't have enough money for a crew teleporter. Oh, silly distress beacon being all trappy. Alright, hold on. Can I figure out a way to get five and one in this one? I guess if we did something like this. Oops. Something like this. There we go. We can get five and one. We're also pretty lucky that they're all at one shield now, but I think that may be because we're playing on easy. Because, you know, I'm scared. If I die in this LP, 
<laughs> if I die in this LP, I'm going to deduct at least 50 points from myself. Which would bring me into, like, negative a million. Because I can do maths. Oh. Oh. Button fails. Oh, button fails again. <laughs> I'm trying to kill my crew. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh. Well, not enough power. Oh. Oh, let's do that. There we go. Now we can heal him. So yeah, you get to see NG in action now. He totally took care of that situation that I totally didn't cause. Alright. Uh, we has money, but we're not going back to the store. Oh, what the heck. Let's go this way. I'm feeling adventurous. Oh, and this red thing back here with the warning, uh, that's a bad place. It's, it's a bad place full of bad things that want to do bad things to you and probably everyone you care about. But especially you. Yes, you with the spiky hair. Oh, and yes, I could put this on auto-fire, and I wouldn't have to adjust them manually. But that's the easy way out. That's like being intelligent about it. You know, being efficient. Oh, good thing. They, they are also... They are also struggling with, um, problems. Oh. We are also struggling with problems because our weapon systems are very weak. Oh, good thing they died. Yay, us. Alright, you get in there and repair that. How did it... How did it button fail that? Come on. Go. Stop... Stop dying. Oh. Oh my. This is all bad. It's all very, very bad. Alright, turn that on and heal up for a second. Alright, good. Everyone is everyone is safe, everyone is healthy, everyone's alive, and we only le left lost like less than 25% of our health. No, oh, sorry for making noises there, everybody. It was nervous noises. Oh, distress beacon, store. Distress beacon, store. Ah, oh, let's go to the distress beacon. I'm feeling adventurous. Oh. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Ooh, a strange stasis pod. Um, let's grab the stasis pod, because I in no way know what this is. You know, it's it's not like it's um, some part of a uh, secret mission in the game that unlocks a secret crew member that, you know, none of us know anything about. Right? Ooh. Happiness. So long-range scanner, repair arm, defense scrambler, bag of battery. Ooh. Oh, um. Gee, I. I don't know. I, I'm gonna buy it. It sounds like a great thing. Where is it in the ship? Oh, it's there. You know what? We're going to put a guy there. We're going to put a guy there permanently so that we can always repair it. We're also going to put a guy in there because that's the best place to put a guy. 
use guy in a sentence. All right. Oh, but there are rebels here to fight. Wait, what? Wait and steal supplies from the civilians? Oh. Wait. Um. Um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to let them be. That was a moral decision, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode, and maybe we will find out what this game is about. <laughs> see you guys then. Bye-bye.